Welcome back to Switched to Linux. And today we're going to do a top five on LibreOffice. Five reasons I use LibreOffice. Now there are several different suites out there for Office documents, but most of them just cover your basics, your word processor, your um, spreadsheets, and maybe a presentation software. But for you, if you are a power user like I am, you need a lot more than that. And there's a lot of little gems and little reasons inside of LibreOffice to consider using this over many of the other suites. Not that those are bad, just that I've had a lot of people ask about, you know, Caligra Office or WPS or OnlyOffice and all these. And for sure, some of them are going to do some of these other features we're going to do. But the reality is LibreOffice does everything I need it to do. It does it extraordinarily well, and I have absolutely zero complaints about it. So today we're going to look at five reasons you should consider using LibreOffice, particularly if you are more of a power user. Number one, LibreOffice is cross-platform. So whether or not you're on Linux, if you're on Mac, if you're on Windows, you can still use LibreOffice and it is going to completely replace your Microsoft Office without any of the subscription fees and that is the direction Microsoft is going. They don't want you to buy the package one time, install it on your computer and not have to keep paying for it. They are moving and moving and moving in that general direction. So if you want to work with another Office suite, you can head on over to the LibreOffice.org, click on your download, and there are snaps and flat packs and, and app images. There's uh, viewers, things like that. Or if you just click the download here, um, it does detect automatically uh, that we're Linux over here, but you can actually come down and find the uh, Mac OS. You can find the Windows version. I think this is maybe a Windows 32-bit um, maybe or an older version. This is a, uh, a newer Windows version. Debs, RPMs, all sorts of different things. So whatever you're running, you're going to be able to run LibreOffice. And if you need to run a variety of different systems, this is a great tool that you can use to consider um, running the same application on every device. Number two, well, if you like mailing labels or need labels for anything else or business cards or any of those functions, LibreOffice can do that for you without having to download templates and do difficult edits. So I actually have a full video on this, so we'll just kind of introduce a little bit of the topic and uh, the video there that I'm referring will be linked down below. So if you are needing to do um, uh, business labels or you know mailing labels, business cards, things like that. So just load up your basic um, loading screen here for LibreOffice and then down under File and New, you will find here labels and business cards. They're going to work a similar way. So you can boot these guys up. You can choose are you coming from a database or not, uh, which will allow a mail merge into there. So if you have 25 different labels that you will need to do, you can actually have the thing spit out labels based upon a database. Or you can just leave them blank and type them in manually. You can select your brand that you're using. Now, not everyone is going to be in here, but you are going to see that there are a lot. You should be able to get at least pretty close and then you can actually come in here and make some individual adjustments if you need to determine what is the exact printing height width what's the different distance between labels how much margins do you have then uh, if you are doing like your own personal mailing labels which is what i use this for just make sure you select this synchronize contents create your new document here and we have this little synchronize button up here which i think you can probably find under view toolbars maybe um, not sure if it's there where that button is. So uh, you can actually just come up here and enter. Uh, this is me at this number, any town, and then just kind of work with this guy. Make sure the setup is what you like. So maybe we'll just kind of center it this way. And we can actually do, I think we can might be able to do some other margins, whatever else you might want to do for your for your spacing there. That's too much spacing, of course. Let's try just this and then synchronize labels and you can actually just print this guy out directly. 
So you can save them, whatever else, of course, adjusting your fonts, whatever else you need to do. So that is what you can actually do with the labels. Of course, labels, business cards, they are all the same. I have a whole video about this, and so I'll link the more detailed video there so in case you are needing more information. Number three, active PDFs. So I've had several clients ask me for things like application forms or registration forms, things like that that require somebody to get a basic printed form, fill it out and mail it in or email it in. Well, LibreOffice allows you the ability to create those active PDFs using the Draw application. So if you just boot up your Libre Draw application, and then come up into your view toolbars and make sure that you have both form controls and form design set up. Then you can actually come in here and create some uh, active PDFs. So this is a simple label with an accompanying text box here. You can do check boxes. Of course, check boxes are used for, you know, do you want this and or this and or this? Or you can do something like a radio button, which will give you the ability to choose either this or that. Now, to make your radio buttons linking them together, you just select them both there, holding the shift and selecting them both, and click on your little control. And then they just need to make sure that you have the same name. So, you know, we'll just call it this. And then also let's do the same thing for the uh, group name as well. And I don't think you have to have it in the data. So we'll go ahead and leave it off of that one. So then when you go ahead and export this guy as a PDF, let's just put it on the desktop. And when you open this guy back up out of the desktop, then it's going to have a field where here is your label. You can enter your data here. Your check boxes will work independently of each other and your option buttons will be synced together. So you can only pick one or the other. So those are things that you can do inside of LibreOffice utilizing the Draw application. Number four, mail merging. Now again, I have another detailed video on this, I believe. So uh, I will link that to the, um, uh, to the description here in the event that I do. So you can have a look at that video there. Now, um, you can use mail merging to either just do basic prints, to do form letters, or to do the address labels as we saw briefly earlier. We're not gonna go into the full detail of this just because this particular computer is not set up to do this kind of work, so I may be missing some of the, some of the uh, applications needed for it. But you do wanna come under, I believe it is Wizards, and we can actually do anything. So a data source is gonna be seeking um, what type of address book you're looking for. Do you wanna use it from like a, a Firefox, a Thunderbird, or an external data source? So I usually do an external data source, which is going to be either a spreadsheet or a um, LibreOffice database. Now inside of that, you're gonna create a document. You can also just basically create under wizards, you can actually create a new letter and uh, this type of letter is going to have a variety of things. And one of the options I believe in here is going to be the ability to mail merge things as well. Which again, we're not gonna look at all the details of that because I've already detailed that in other places. But it is definitely a strong feature of LibreOffice to be able to go in and um, do mail merging. And number five, my favorite as an author is full book formatting. So I don't have to mess around with any of the crazy, silly online tools that get subpar work. I can actually go into LibreOffice and produce some of the most beautiful and elegantly designed books. And I can print those out and I can submit those directly to the book distributors. And I don't have to go through any other application to do that. So uh, this one I believe is on this computer, although I do not have all of the fonts. Uh, involved in this, so some of the fonts are missing. Uh, so it's not gonna be formatted exactly correct here, but if we come in into over here, we can see I have the variety of, uh, of different sections over here, and I have all of my styles defined, which I will not be able to go and see those styles because of this, now I should be able to see those styles. So I have all of my different headings set exactly what it is, you know, what are the fonts uh, for each of the heading styles, 
and then um, you can do all of your spaces, all your margins. I can put in my uh, um, book title on the one side. I can put in my chapter title on the other side and everything's all automated. So everything here is do, does exactly what we need for full-scale professional book development. Um, of course, here's my um, index, which looks better when the correct font is in there, <laughs> but that's all right. Here's my bibliography. Uh, so all of these are types of things that you can do inside of LibreOffice. Of course, the bibliography, the index, and actually the table of contents as well uh, are also um, uh, are also I'll put in here automatically. So those are my five reasons for using LibreOffice. All of the things you can do, all of the professional stuff, they are all make all make for for excellent uses. So let me know your favorite uses. What are, let me know your favorite Office suite. Why is it your favorite? Why you know why don't you like this or why do you like LibreOffice? Let me know all those thoughts in the comments down below.